Colin, has Rex earned the right to talk a little trash? No. I mean, first of all, this game is meaningless to New England. If you'd have told Belichick, you're going to have to not only start your backup. Bill Belichick's head just exploded. There are no <laughs> meaningless games. With I know. <laughs> but if you'd have said, listen, Garoppolo's going to get hurt. You're going to start Jacoby Brissett twice. But you'll lead the division. He'd have been, check, I'll take it. I mean, come on, let's be honest about this. The minute anybody gets Rex got a little video on the third string quarterback and realizes it's be a pretty easy game for us to win with our Tyrod Taylor, who's our star who we just paid a fortune to. They're three and one. They win the division. Rex always acts similar to college freshmen after they ace a midterm. I mean, come on, you're a grown-up. You're a veteran and coach. You, you've been to AFC championships twice. Like, grow up. What great coach in the history of the NFL? You said he was a great taunter. Like, to me, it, it, it validates all the skepticism and cynicism I have with Rex. He's a lousy winner. He's wildly inconsistent. One week serious, the next week carrot top. I'm like, I'm, I'm just over it. Listen, I, I agree with damn near everything you just said. However, we know who Rex is. We went into this game thinking, ah, they may eke out a victory, but they could lose. He wins 16 to zero. I fully expected Rex to talk some trash. Many of us had written them off. Their schedule now gets easier, and we could be looking at a four and three, five and two Rex Ryan. He's anticipating all the people that wrote me off. <laughs> and he's, he's thinking he's going to get the last one. You know laugh. what? I don't know if you said this. I think he's auditioning for TV. I really do. I, I, did not say that. I, I honestly believe Rex knows he's in trouble. He's gotten goofier this year. He's gotten sillier with his job on the line. I don't know if John Gruden's going to be on Monday Night Football forever. I don't, you know, some of these broadcasters are getting long in the tooth. Rex Ryan's handsome enough, funny enough. He's high profile enough, New York. I honestly believe somewhere inside he's gotten sillier this year with his job on the line. I think he is transitioned mentally to auditioning for network execs. And I, and I really, I've thought about this. You've made an amazing point. And, and particularly, if he's heard whispers that ownership is out on him... Well, whispers, holding, it's in the paper. Right, they're holding meetings without him. Yeah, because I see it all the time with players. They start preparing for their broadcasting career by making outrageous comments and trying to be an over-the-top personality. Available to the press after every game. Yes. Rex Ryan may be doing the same thing. You've made an excellent point. <laughs>